Today was my second time to play in the Chopin's house. It was very exciting as, uh, as before, but today uh, it was so special for me because my performance was broadcasted. <laughs> and um, I really concentrated on the Chopin's music. And uh, yeah, I feel a yeah, special atmosphere in the Chopin's birth house. Yeah, thank you for a special experience. <laughs> I really enjoyed to play Chopin, yes. <laughs> Uh, actually, I didn't know today is the Children's Day in the Pol in Poland, and uh, I was surprised to, <laughs> to see many children <laughs> in this memorial places. I really feel happiness of, from uh, children, and uh, I got energy from uh, them. And uh, yeah, maybe because of their power. <laughs> I really concentrate and related on my performance. Thanks for every children <laughs> and their family. Today I played historical pianos in the time of Chopin. Maybe some children had a first experience to listen to the sound of Chopin's piano. So think, thinking about this, uh, my performance it was very important <laughs> for their first experience. So I had to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, but it was very special. Uh, it was also special time for me to introduce the sound, historical sound, to the child, uh, to children. My first experience of piano, um, I think it was around four or five years old. My sister played the piano and I listened to her practice. And I wanted to play as, uh, as her and I started to play the piano. And uh, yeah, and my first Chopin experience was uh, when I was eight years old. I studied piano with, uh, with a teacher close to my house, but I told her my, I told my teacher, I really want to play Chopin. And <laughs> I didn't practice any other uh, etude uh, for child, children. I studied Chopin <laughs> when I was eight, eight years old. My first piece was uh, Waltz Number no. One, a Grand Waltz Brillante. It was my first Chopin experience. My first experience of historical pianos was when I was 19 years old or 20 years old, so not a child. When I was 20 years old, I started to study historical pianos in my university in Tokyo. And I played the piano in the time of Mozart. And I was really shocked the, with the sound of the piano, very totally different from today's piano. And I'm, after this experience, I'm, I became 
crazy about the sound of historical pianos. And after studying the pianos in 18th century, I started I started to play historical pianos in the time in the time of Chopin. It was also fantastic experience for me. Also very different from today's piano. And I feel Chopin's soul from these historical pianos. And I always feel Chopin's uh, soul and maybe Chopin's soul from the sound of the pianos. And I always feel like I'm going back to the time of Chopin. So for me, historical pianos are time machine for me. <laughs> In Japan, the Children's Day is on 5th May. And it is very difficult to say in English, but the koinobori is something like the fish. We put fish to the sky. When wind comes to the fish, the fish, fish uh, looks like they swim. And also, sometimes we eat sushi for celebrating. Yeah, anyway, very different from Polish Children's Day. But yeah, the only smile of children are same. <laughs> It was my first time to see such an event. <laughs> so many children come and many children dancing <laughs> and the family also comes. And they really enjoyed children's day together with other family. It was really nice, nice scene for me. In Japan also, we celebrate children's day with other people, but today I had 2,000 people come to <laughs> this park. <laughs> it is very amazing, and yeah, uh, I really want to dance with <laughs> them. <laughs> it looks very happy. 